Hi, I'm Evan with Personas, and today we're going to go about how to save your settings when working with your marching band or other ensembles with the Studio Live Series 3 Rack Mixers and UC Surface. UC Surface and Universal Control are free applications available from Personas.com or the respective app store for your devices. We're going to go ahead and open UC Surface, and it'll bring up our mixer. There's a chance that you might see everything grayed out. You'll want to double check, make sure your permissions are set. The default access code on Series 3 rack mixers is 12345. Set your permissions to front of house, and you're all set to go. Next, once we have all of our settings set up and everything, we want to go to this SCN button, and that'll bring up our mix scenes up top. Those are your quick scenes, like they would be on the console mixer. And by hitting the little menu icon, we now have a list of our scenes. Select an empty location. Pick the filters that you want saved in the scene down the left side and hit store. You can name it here, hit OK, and you've successfully stored all of your settings. Scenes are great for storing things such as panning changes, level changes, turning things off and on. They're super handy for doing things fast and efficiently on the fly. We've now successfully saved our settings in a scene and you're ready to move forward with your Studio Live Series 3 rack mixer and UC Surface. For more information on Studio Live Series 3 and all other products by Personas, visit personas.com. Hi, I'm Evan of Personas, and today we're going to go over how to set up a channel for a marimba utilizing the Studio Live Series 3 rack mixers and UC Surface. UC Surface or Universal Control are both free applications available at Personas.com or on the respective app stores for their devices. We're going to go ahead and open UC Surface here on our iPad, and everything's good to go. Next, we want to select the channel we want to work with. I'm going to select channel 4 here. If our fader's already up and everything's all set, across the top, you'll notice that we have our gate, compression, and equalizer. We're going to go to the EQ, and we're going to turn it on. That means that everything we do here is going to work. Now that that's all set, over on the left, we're going to set our high-pass filter at the input. If you're on the low end of a marimba, it can be anywhere from 90 to 100 hertz for the high-pass filter. If you're on a high-end mic, it can be anywhere from 300 to 500 hertz. These are just general recommendations that I recommend starting from. Once we have our high-pass filter dialed in at what we want, we're going to select the high-end, we're going to turn it into a shelf, and we can kind of attenuate down some of our high frequencies as we need. You could also have this wide open. It all depends on the way you want your marimba the sound and your articulations that are coming out of the instrument based on your mallet selections and the timbre of the instrument. Now that we've got that all set, we're pretty much ready to go. You can set a gate if you like to adjust when the mic's coming on and off, or you can leave it wide open. So we've just successfully set up a channel for a marimba utilizing UC Surface with the Studio Live Series 3 rack mixers. For more information on Studio Live Series 3 rack mixers, as well as all the other products from Personas, visit personas.com.